Welcome back to another Sunday Loves and Duds. This week I do not have a dud, so I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I had a very, very hot weekend. Unfortunately, due to the heat wave, I did get a really bad migraine for two days, so I was kind of like um, a slug on Friday. I didn't really want to do anything. I just laid on the couch, but I am feeling better. Yesterday we had a really, really nice barbecue. Um, the people had lived by a they lived by a river, so it was really really nice. Um, their house was gorgeous, so I had a really great time there. And today I we're actually heading out to a birthday party for my cousin's daughter. So I'm excited. She's turning she turned four on Wednesday, so they're doing a birthday party for her today. So I'm gonna be heading out there with my daughter today. So I just wanted to show you guys the few things that I have been using this week that I really really have been enjoying. Some of them um, are things that I've had and then some of them I just discovered. So let's just get started. First, the first thing that I really have been enjoying is my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And my summer color is 180 medium uh, beige. Keep in mind that if you are planning on getting this foundation, this does run dark. So if you think you're one color, go one shade under, because I was gonna get the 200. And I'm glad I got the 180 because the, the the 200 looked a little bit darker and I was like, oh, maybe I'm that one. I'm glad I got this one because this one matches me perfect now that I have a tan. Um, this one, honestly, to me, feels just like my Garnier BB Cream. The, the Garnier one actually has more uh, benefits towards your skin than the Revlon Nearly Naked. But other than that, they are basically the same. They both have SPF 20. They both give you a very sheer, but cover any imperfections and perfect your skin with a light feel. Like I don't feel like I have any foundation on. It doesn't feel cakey. So if you don't want to grab this one because you might find it uh, to be a little bit more expensive because this one does run about $13. This one's about $10. So, and they basically do the same thing, just like I said, with the exception that this one has skin benefits. Um, so I really have been enjoying this one. I have been using this one every single day and I have it on today. Um, so I don't know, I guess I'm gonna stick with this one for a little bit longer just cause I like it a lot. And I'm trying to give my BB cream a little break because it has been used and abused. Now the next thing that I have is something that I saw Shades of Cassie, uh, use and also Emily from Beauty Broadcast. They both uh, mentioned this e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliator. So I went to Target to give it a shot. I know I just got the Lush uh, lip scrub for my birthday, but I wanted to give something a shot just because that one is not accessible to me. It has to be either ordered online or I literally have to drive an hour and a half to the closest store. And I didn't want to do that. So, and I love that one so much that I just, I'm afraid I'm going to use it up too quickly. So I decided to grab this one, and this honestly really works. Um, it is like a lipstick form, so this is what it looks like up close. As you can see, I kind of already been digging at it. This really, really does exfoliate your lips. It gets all the dead cells off my, or the dead skin off my lips. It smells to me like maple brown syrup. And it does have little beads on there. I don't know, can you see that? It has like beads on there. So that's what helps uh, exfoliate your lips. And I do find some of the beads to come off on my lips, but that's not a big deal because you wipe off all the dead skin anyway. Now, um, I don't know how long this will last me. I've only had this, like I said, this week. But I will definitely repurchase this and use this going forward uh, just to scrub my lips. So I really would recommend this. And this only is $3, $3 or $6. I can't remember how much it was, but it's no more than $6. It is at the bottom display of uh, the, e.l.f. Um, the e.l.f. display at Target. So if you're looking for it, you'd have to get all the way down and squat down to find this. So I'd highly recommend you pick that up if you're looking for a lip scrubber that is not expensive because obviously a lip scrub should not be expensive considering you could just grab some water and a towel and just scrub your lips up. Now the next product that I have is something that I had picked up on a whim. I had beauty bucks and I didn't know what to pick so I decided to go with this CoverGirl lipstick and the color that I had picked up was Delight. Now I thought that this was actually going to be brighter. As you can see, this looks pretty bright, right? So 
when you look at it, it does look very bright. I am wearing it today, as you can see, it doesn't look that bright. This is a very, very wearable uh, kind of pinky, corally color. It kind of has like pink and coral mixed in there. You see it's very, very sheer. It's not very opaque. So if you're looking for a color that you want to wear that's bright but not like, whoa, you know, street signs all over your face kind of bright, I would definitely pick this up. It's very beautiful. It's very, very moisturizing on my lips. Um, and these are not that expensive. Uh, this one is, uh, if you're looking for the number online, it's 410. But I really enjoy this line. This one in particular caught me off guard because I thought it was going to be brighter. But I actually am glad that it's not as bright as it is because I can wear it every day and not feel like somebody's staring at my lips all the time. Even though I don't mind the bright lips, you guys know I like the brightness. But this is more of a wearable color. So if you're looking for that, the color is Delight 410 from CoverGirl line with that purple cap to it. I don't know what the line is. Yeah, it doesn't say on here what the what the actual line is, but definitely would recommend this one. Now I have been seeing a lot of YouTubers using that Sedona Lace fan brush and also uh, Sigma has one. So they're very expensive and they're very very fluffy now you know the ones that normally come in like the Sony Kashuk are very thin and they're not as full so one of my favorite uh, drugstore brush line is the Equal Tools they're great they're amazing I basically have all of them I have no complaints with any of them whatsoever that I own they're very soft they don't shed they last a while and uh, I'm assuming they're eco-friendly since hence the word the name eco tools but they came out with I think three new brushes and one of them's like a decollete brush where you can actually like contour your decollete area they came out with I think a kabuki brush and they came out with a fan brush and I am in love with it look how dense that is and they did not disappoint it is soft it is full and it is not that expensive. I believe I paid no more than $10 for this brush. Love it. If you don't want to purchase the Sedona Lace one or the Sigma one, I highly recommend this one. This is the only drugstore one that I have seen um, that is full and just, it's really, really great. I love it to highlight, as you can see right here. Great to contour the nose and to contour your face. As you can see, you can fit it right there and it's dense enough to be able to not give you such a streaky look. This is definitely a amazing brush. I'd highly recommend this one. Like I said, it's no more than $10. I got mine at Walmart. I went to Ulta today and I did not see it there. I actually looked for it. I didn't see it there. It was at the bottom of the display of all the brushes. So unless you're really looking for it, you will not find it. Um, highly recommend. Don't miss out on this one if you are looking for a fan brush because I think this one will probably be one of those ones that are constantly sold out. So I'm excited I found it and I'm glad that I picked it up. Now the last product that I have is something that is also when I was at Walmart, I found it there and I haven't seen many people talk about this one. And you know Hard Candy never makes stuff that's what it's meant for, especially their bronzers. This is another bronzer product, but it's not really a bronzer product. This is their Hard Candy Glow Away Bronzer and Highlight Duo. It is a stick form. That's what it looks like. It is a stick form. This one is in the color called Maui. They do have two other ones. The white part is supposed to be the highlight. This, I find it to be very shimmery for a highlight, so I use it as a inner corner highlight. I use that side for it. But the bronzer one is the one that I have fallen in love with. It is twist up, as you can see. I am wearing it today. It is a gorgeous golden highlight. It is subtle, amazing. I use the Sigma P84 angled uh, brush. I dip it in there and then I just go ahead and blend it out. Look at that, I just love it. It's so subtle, there is no shimmer, gorgeous glow. I have fallen in love with this thing. I'm surprised that I have not made a dent in this sucker because I have used this one every single day this week and I 
don't think I'm gonna put this one down. Great, I know this is under $10. Um, I said, like I said, they have two other ones, but this one is the one that I would find that fits as a nice highlight the best. Great product. You can find this online or at Walmart, the Super Walmart, sell these. So those are my Sunday loves for this week. Like I said, I haven't been using uh, a lot since it is summertime. I tend not to use too much products, but I have been enjoying the ones that I have been showing you guys. Uh, this week I will be... Put, uh, I will have a video up of all of my top golden highlight products and you will see this one in there. Um, I just wanted to do a video because I, you guys know that in the summertime I absolutely love gold highlights. I tend to use those more just because you, I am tanner and it just looks nice with a tan skin. So I wanted to show you guys my top uh, golden highlight products products and they are going to be some high-end and some drugstore and some they can only find online so I have a mixture of all of them so I hope you guys enjoyed my Sunday loves and duds if you have any requests don't forget to put them down in the comment section I will put all the products as always in my description box and where you can find them don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys